Hey, good morning. Happy Friday. Friday the 13th. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. An absolutely gorgeous Friday morning. I'm down at the very south end of the park. Right at the north end of Vanderbilt Beach. Vanderbilt Beach is where the condos start. I call it the concrete jungle. You can see all the condos here. Most of those units are empty now. These are all seasonal. They all come down here in the winter time, the people that own these units. You can see this one, this building here, it's all shuttered up. A couple units open, but most of them are closed. We got the hurricane shutters up. They'll all be back in the winter time. Get some nice colors in the sky here. As I pan back around, but look at the difference between Vanderbilt Beach and Del Nor Wiggins. A mile of unspoiled beach paradise here at Del Nor Wiggins. No homes or condos. Nobody up on their balcony peering down at you with binoculars or telescopes. That's why I come to Del Nor Wiggins. Beautiful. Well, let's see, when I left the park on Wednesday, we had 47 sea turtle nests on the beach, 47 confirmed crawls. We hadn't had any hatchings yet. Here comes a pelican flying by. Look at those colors, huh? Beautiful. Beautiful colors this morning. It's a beautiful lobby in this condo right here. It's just, when you walk in the lobby, it's all open windows there. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like you're right out on the beach when you look out of those windows. It's a beautiful view. That's, um, I believe that's Mariah Bay, that condo there. As, as I was saying, as of Wednesday, 47 confirmed sea turtle nests on the beach, loggerhead sea turtles. No hatchings yet as of Wednesday, but let's walk the beach, see if we see any new crawls or maybe find a, a new nest or two. Looking way up in the distance, I see that gosh, that gosh darn barge is still up here. We should get that eyesore out of here. Water is gorgeous down here. Absolutely beautiful, crystal clear. Once the sun comes up, we'll be able to see the water, see the bottom. Beautiful down here. didn't see any sea, sea turtle crawls on my way down here this morning. I started up up here at the boardwalk in Area 1 and came south before I went live. I didn't see any signs of any new crawls so far. We've still got a lot of beach to cover. And hopefully, 
with that dredging operation has finally stopped, the water is going to be is going to start clearing up along the entire beach here. It was a mess up at the north end of the park during that dredging. Hopefully it's clearing up. Oh boy. Starting to get some color in those clouds up there. Look at that. Starting to get some pinks. Roy's favorite. The pink cotton candy clouds. Clouds are starting to get some color up on the tops out in the gulf there. Just gorgeous. Is that not gorgeous? Let's see if I can take a quick photo. Hang tight. It's not quite there yet. I think these clouds are going to light up here above us. I think we're going to get some nice color up there. peaceful out here. I don't see anybody out on the beach yet. Behind me, behind me is the Collier County Beach Patrol making their rounds. I don't know if you can see their little buggy there. You can see the tail lights checking the sea turtle nests. I don't know if that's the beach patrol. I'm sure that's the beach patrol. I'm pretty sure it's Collier County. They got a lot of beach to cover. It's a great look at Vanderbilt Beach there. Those condos down on the right, that's the Park Shore area. That's about halfway between us and the Naples Pier. Those condos sticking out on the right. Let's see if I can zoom in. There goes a pelican flying through. That was cool. Let's see where he goes. Boom, into the water. I can't zoom in anymore. That's a great look down there to the south. Those beautiful morning skies. See, that's a ways down there. How's our sky looking? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, starting to, starting to come alive. Look at that, beautiful. Starting to come alive with color. Couple little snowy egrets making their way down the beach. Did you get something? No. Another one following right behind up here. I'm hoping to see our friends, the Pfeifers from Germany. They're here on vacation for a couple weeks. They've been here now for three or four days and I just haven't been able to catch up with them. I think we're gonna see them this morning. Great people, the Pfeifers. Marcus and Andre and their son, Julius. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Definitely picture worthy, for sure. It's one of our sea turtle nests. That's number 44 right there in front of me. I think I'm gonna snap off a quick photo, bear with me. That's 44. We know there's 47. We saw number 47 on Wednesday. Let's 
see if we have any new nests. Wouldn't it be fun to catch one of those sea turtles on the beach laying, laying her eggs? That'd be neat to see. I'd love to see that in person. I've seen lots of videos of it, but I've never seen it in person. Or see one of the, an emerging, one of the nest hatching. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be so much fun to see that in person. They do have things called turtle watches that you can sign up for that the state puts on different agencies. And you go out on the beach at night and wait for the sea turtles to come ashore. And now we're into that time where they're gonna start hatching. And they're usually pretty accurate on determining the day the nest is gonna hatch. takes around between 50 and 60 days. I think they say like 55 days for the eggs to incubate. And they're pretty accurate. There's an osprey flying by. He's got a fish in his talons. Taking it back to the nest. That was cool. That was very neat. Many people tuned in here. That sky's really getting pretty over there. Look at that. Airplane flying over. What nest is that? Oh, well, that's nest 46. That was from one of the crawls we saw on Wednesday. Nest number, what nest number was this? Number 10, no signs of any activity there yet. Beautiful sea oats. Come on camera, adjust. There you go. Look out here. Look at that sky. Boy, that breeze is gone. Now that I've gotten up by the trees, they're blocking the breeze. Kind of humid. We've been getting some pretty good rainstorms in the afternoons. The humidity is pretty darn high. We're in the upper 70s right now. Expecting a high of 92. I'm sure we'll have some rain again this afternoon. Uh, this looks like nest number three, and there's a depression in there. Like it might have, might have had a hatching, but I don't see all the little. It might have been a hatching and caved in. I don't know for sure. I don't. Usually, you see all kinds of little footprints all over the beach when there's a hatching, but that's kind of what it looks like. Except there's a nice big hole in the middle. If it happened the other day, it would have filled in from the rain. If that's... I don't know what number nest that is. I cannot see the number on it. That's one of our earlier nests, so it could have hatched. Who knows? Nest 22 right next to it. Still, 
Still no signs of any new crawls. Nest number six. Don't see any action there. That's number 28. Still too early for that to hatch. How'd you like to sit out there on those benches taking in the sunset? Great spot. You're gonna need your bug spray though this time of year. All these benches have inscriptions or plaques. It's a great way to remember somebody that you love. Have a bench placed out here. Janice and John. Zameko. This is our happy place. <laughs> it's my happy place too. God bless. Thomas and Esther Riley. Uh, that's sad. A teenager in loving memory of Natasha Patterson June 17th 2003 to August 8th 2015 not even a teenager imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality Natasha God bless Yeah, that is horrible to lose a child. It's starting to get a little brighter out here as I make my way north up towards Wiggins Pass. Nest 25 up there in the dunes. The tide is still going out. Low tide's going to be around 7.50, I believe, 7.50 a.m. So if you're going to do any shelling, that'd be the time to come out. Low tide's always the best. No guarantees on what you're going to find. Here's nest number 37 on my right. Up here. Number 38, and over here, number 17. No activity there, still a little early.
S43. S number 18. What a beautiful morning. Give you a look around here. Glad we have a signal this morning. Here comes a pelican. Beautiful. Where's those dolphins? Looking down to the south. Gorgeous this morning. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I thought we were gonna see some more colors in those clouds here just above us, but it didn't happen. Oh well, can't predict Mother Nature. We can try. <laughs> I think I see Roy's beach gear way up there. I'm not sure. I think we lost this nest. This is nest number two. And that should have hatched by now. That's sad. I think this got buried underwater for too long during one of our storms and high tides. Whether or not the nests, the eggs hatch in the nest, the rangers, they will give it plenty of extra time. And then they will actually dig down into the nest and just see what stage they'll open. They'll dig down, dig the eggs out, break some of them open and see how far developed the little embryos were. And they do an egg count. They keep pretty close tabs on the number of eggs. And after they hatch, they do the same thing. They go in. They dig up the nest, they see how many eggs hatched, how many didn't, they do a count. They keep really good records on these sea turtle nests here at Del Nor Wiggins. I actually have a couple videos of being with the rangers when they were excavating the nest. You just have to go through all my videos to see that. Got yeah, lots of videos. If you're not careful, you might learn something watching them. Surprised we haven't seen any new crawls. Nest number 20 over here. I know where a nice little access points to the beach up in here. Kind of a nice little picture, hang on. Sea turtle nest number 20. There's one of the picnic areas here under the pine trees. Nice little picnic areas all along the beach here, just up in the trees. Barbecue grills. I mean, there's probably a couple hundred picnic tables. I don't know. There's a lot of them scattered throughout the park. As you can see, there's a little, little path that kind of parallels the beach. That's where all the picnic tables are. Summertime, though, you definitely want to bring the bug spray.
That's number 40. this this was number 24 back in here I think that's the nest that Jennifer Ann got a couple pictures of the sea turtle at she was out here early and actually in the middle of the night and actually caught this the female up here nesting And this was the other nest that we, the newest nest that we saw on Wednesday up here, number 47, on the right. Three nests, look how close they are. What was crazy is this one here, number 47, she came up, dug her nest, laid her eggs, covered them up, and just plowed right over that nest and knocked that, that cage to pieces. Rangers had to straighten it up the best they could. That was something else. You can see how, how close they can get to each other. They say they come back to where they were born to nest. I wonder if that's all, they, they, they can lay more than one clutch of eggs during the nesting season. Wouldn't that be something if that's the same sea turtle? <laughs> wow. I'm going to take a picture of that. Bear with me. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. We're at the north end of Area 3 right now. I have not... I haven't seen any shells yet out along the beach. Just a few broken ones. No signs of any new sea turtle crawls. Any potential new nests yet. No signs of any hatchings. checking all the nests out nest number three that should have hatched by now I'm pretty sure so it probably we probably lost that one too that's sad you never know maybe there's slow risers in there Thirteen. Any action over on nest thirteen? Nope. Ooh, a quiet night. No crawls, no hatchings. Walking up here, up high on the beach like this is wearing me out. Walking in this soft sand, getting quite a workout. Whew.
that's about it. There's only a couple more nests on the beach up here. That's number four, which should have hatched or be hatching real soon. You see that tide's definitely still going out. See the water swirling above the shallows out there. an osprey calling out from way down there. Beautiful, beautiful sky. Look at these beautiful flowers over here. Beautiful yellow flowers. Also our railroad vine, those pretty purple flowers on that vine. On the, that's in bloom now. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. There's that... Blasted barge still sitting there. Hopefully it's done. Hopefully they're done with that dredging operation. We'll be getting that out of here soon. It sure is an eyesore. It ruins everybody's pictures. Just kind of spoils the view. Well, we've been lucky and kept our connection. That's a good thing. Boy, the beach is really clean here. No shells, no shells to speak of yet. The water looks pretty darn good up here though. It's, looks like it's getting better every day. I don't think that barge has been pumping for the past few days. Roy said he thought the dredge left Wiggins Pass, so hopefully they're done and this water will be getting back to normal. I don't know if you saw that picture I posted of those dead ducks. That is so sad. That's because of these darn releases that they're doing at Lake Okeechobee, letting all that polluted, contaminated water out of Lake O, running into the Caloosahatchee. And, I mean, it's affecting all kinds of marine life, including sea turtles, manatees. It's horrible. And sadly, there's another release scheduled for today. And that's just horse crud. They gotta figure, they gotta do something about this. This stuff has got to stop. The heck with letting the water out of Lake Okeechobee. <laughs> just drop some dynamite down in the bottom and make it deeper. <laughs> Well, you can see definitely it's low tide here. I'll take a little walk out onto that sandbar, see if we find anything out by the barge. Just wanted to come up and check this sea turtle nest here before I do that. I got a long crawl to the water from here. long way to go no action there and they got a long way out to the water there look at that a 
all that algae there. This is actually underwater when the tide comes in. It's like a little tide pool in here. I see Roy way down there. He's way, way up there. Just around that little point right up there. I can hear him singing from all the way down here. <laughs> this is all, all new sand out here. This has all been dumped, pumped out of Wiggins Pass and dumped out of this, pumped out by this barge here. Deposited all out here. This is all new sand. All new beach here. The tide is still heading out. That's quite a little mound over there, isn't it? up here really don't see I thought we'd find something really cool up here a little worm shell you find a lot of those on the beach the worm shells and this you know this is the stuff that's got sucked up out of Wiggins Pass so it's been through the grinder I guess of a scallop shell. It's the part of a scallop. An old fighting conch shell. An old Florida fighting conch. Jewel box shell. A little cockle shell. Another old jewel box. Oh, it's all small stuff here. Oh, there's, looks like a piece of an old lightning whelk. Yep, that's a very old, beat-up lightning whelk. Ooh, there's a nice scallop shell. Boy, there's a nice-looking scallop right there. Great-looking scallop shell. That's a keeper. Slipper shell. The slipper. I'll flip that over. We'll see why they call it a slipper shell. See how it looks like a little slipper? Gotta use your imagination. Another fighting conch shell up here. Florida fighting conks. There's a nice little worm tip. I'm out on this new little sandbar that's out by the barge. It will hopefully be disappearing soon. It's 
that a slipper shell there? Is that a big slipper shell? Yeah, look at that. That's a big slipper shell there. That's a nice one. Good size one. The slipper shell. Turn it this way, maybe light up. The slipper. That's a nice size slipper shell. Great view out here. Great view from out here. So look down the beach, looking south. That's something. This is all new out here where I'm standing. I'm gonna take a quick photo, bear with me. Beautiful out here, standing out in the water, looking back at the beach. Mile of beach here at Del Norwegans. The sun just coming up over the trees. Isn't that gorgeous. Another little cockle out here. Lots of clam shells out here. Lots and lots of clam shells like this one. Lots of them out here. Another little cockle shell. Nice little cockle. It's a little conch, an old one. And a smaller fighting conch shell. Is that nasty old barge? Be so happy to see that thing be towed out of here. Uh, there's my shadow. Good morning, everybody. That's what's dumping all the sand here. They're actually pumping this. They were pumping the sand from Wiggins Pass, and it got pumped out of this pipe here. That's what made these little sandbars that I'm standing on. It actually, <laughs> I was going to walk over there, but it gets really deep right here. I think there might be a way over here to get over there and come around. You can see these waves. When you see the waves, that means it's shallow. So yeah, it's a huge drop off right down here. I don't see anything out here. I was hoping to find something nice out here on this little sandbar. Something alive. Some live shells. Those are always fun to see. The live conks, the whelks. I don't see anything out here. Boy, that is a steep drop off here. It looks like it's probably a good four feet deep over here. It just drops straight off.
Oh, nothing. Nothing, nothing out here. Darn it. A little scallop shell. A little scallop with some barnacles on it. That's kind of cool. Everything's kind of busted up out here. in the water checking in the water for anything man I'm not seeing much of anything I'm to take a look back there look at look that north I'm gonna take a picture of that bear with me okay I'm back Make my way back towards the beach here. Another nice little, nice little slipper shell just kind of washed up as I was walking by. It's a nice little slipper. See how it looks like a little shoe when you flip it over, the slipper shell? That's a nice little slipper. I don't know if there's anything out. Yeah, water gets kind of deep here. I don't see anything. We're actually, it's kind of interesting where I'm at. This is where the markers are. These boats aren't supposed to get any closer than this to the beach, any closer than to what I am, to where I am. I'm over on this side of this little sandbar. See if there's anything on this side. As I head back to the beach. Nice little baby cockle shell. There's a little tiny baby cockle. What's that over there? Oh, just a piece of a conch shell. I just saw that tip sticking up. Just the very top of a little fighting conch shell. Oh, there's a moon shell. Is it a moon shell? A shark eye? Yes. How about that? There's a shark eye. Nice find. One shark eye. I figure these would be all destroyed. That's a nice little shark eye. Moon shell. Great find. Good job, Rob. <laughs> I was just going to bend over and pick up a piece of worm rock. There's a couple little hunks of it sitting here. Interesting looking stuff, the worm rock. Look at that. Yeah, I'm happy I found a moon shell. Look at that. Isn't that worm rock cool when you look at it up close? Very neat stuff, worm rock. You know, anytime you have questions about anything I pick up or I'm talking about, don't be afraid to use Google. 
I'm no expert. Ask Google. It's a wonderful thing, the internet. Nice little conch, a little fighting conch. Nice little point on it. Nothing in there. Always check, make sure nobody's home before we take the shells home with us. Make sure there's no living animal inside. Not necessarily a conch. A fiddler crab could be in here. I found, we found an octopus in one of these one day, believe it or not. All kinds of little critters make these empty shells their home. There's a nice turkey wing shell. Wow, this is what I expected to find out here. There's a piece of a nautica. I think they call it a gaudy nautica. Very similar to a shark eye. Beautiful colors. This one's run through the mill here, pretty tore up. Lots of broken shells, lots of tips of conks. There's a big piece of a cockle. There's another, just the top of a fighting conch shell. I'm just off the beach on the sandbar at area four, the new sandbar, taking advantage of the of low tide. cool out here. This is all that new sand that's been dumped out here. Snap off a photo. A couple quick photos, bear with me. I'm back once again here, heading back towards the beach. Go say hi to Roy. See if he has his book with him. See if he has a copy of his new book. I'm gonna to try to get him to read one of the chapters to us real quick. Little Pelican just went right by me. Boom, did you see him dive into the water there? Just came right up over my shoulder. That was pretty cool. a little dirty here this isn't pollution it's just dirt it's just stuff that was stirred up during the dredging What's up, Daddy-O? Missed you yesterday. Yep. What'd I miss yesterday? Well, I missed you. <laughs> I 
Anything exciting out here yesterday? Oh, everything's about the same. Yeah, about the same. Always beautiful and wonderful. One of these days, they'll haul out that beautiful barge. The dredge is definitely gone, huh? Oh, it's definitely gone. That's awesome. And they had the other barge out, and with the big backhoe on it, bamming in, they put some... Uh, oh, new markers? Mar yeah, channel, big high post yep. channel marker, so well, that's they good. got that accomplished. Well, that's good news. But that's about it for the... Well, can't wait for them to get this eyesore the, out of here. For the sea, yeah, that'd be nice, all right. And the whole big pipe, they got to haul that pipe away. Imagine they'll take that down where they took the dredge. Do you, do you bring copies of your book to the beach with you? I do, yeah, I got them up in the car. Okay, people ask if you have them here. If they oh, yeah, them. people came by yesterday and sold some, and they got some checks in the mail and wow. cash in the mail, so things are going wow, great. Not, they got, you got it still getting it in the mail, not yeah, PayPal, yeah, huh? Yeah, I think it's because I talked to you about it, probably. That's good. So, well, and then, uh, do you have one down here, or you have them in the car? I got them in the car. I'd like to... I'd like to, when I come back here, I'd like you to read just one of the chapters to us. I'd give, love to. Give, give everybody a taste of what's in there. Oh, that'd be great. We'll, we'll tease them Should into I, buying one. I read one. about Noah. Well, I did read You read, read Noah. Noah. That was funny. Day. Yeah, that was funny. Pick, think, pick your favorite chapter. Well, probably the most important one is not drinking poison, but I don't know if people want to hear Yeah, about let's hear that. a different one. <laughs> well, let's have a one, anyone besides poison. Okay. They can read that on their own. Maybe a no mistake day. Sure. Yeah, we'll All right. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good. All right. That'll be wonderful. You see any dolphins? No, no dolphins. Oh, darn it. No turtles either. Oh, there's a big crawl up there, though. Oh, there's a crawl up north? Oh, great. Well, that's good. One crawl, Roy said. He saw a turtle crawl up here to the north, so that's good news. We'll go see if we can find that. Hopefully, we'll keep our signal. This is where we lost our signal the other day. Everything went downhill once I got north of Roy. Hopefully, Sprint was just doing some work on their towers or something. As soon as I started talking to Fisherman Mike. I don't see anybody up here this morning. Well, there's a few shells out here. Let's see. You can see there's a little line of shells along the high tide mark here. Then there's some little ones all strewn about on the beach here. Right as I started talking to Roy, I saw a big olive shell on the beach and I turned and I couldn't find it. It's amazing how things just disappear. It's like you just gotta stare at the ground and the more you stare, the more you're gonna find. Love to find a shark's tooth. Like Linda found. I'm so jealous of her finding that big shark's tooth that day up on the beach, no less. That was kind of unusual. Usually find them down by the water. I haven't seen the Magyars. Scott and Linda in a while. Are their friends Michael and Tina? It was kind of nice having those extra set of eyes walking along the beach. Everything's all broken here. All chewed up, all these shells. Just broken bits and pieces here. But hey, I'm happy. I got one nice shell this morning. Very unexpected. I really didn't expect to find anything out on those new sandbars. But I found a nice little moon shell this morning, so that was nice little shark eye so I'm happy I haven't found one of these in a while 
on this beach. Now this isn't really a big shelling beach, Del Norwegans. There's a lot better shelling up on Sanibel and I believe Marco Island. Down in, oh, what do they call that? Down by Tiger Tail Beach. That big uh, spit of land out there. That's great shelling down by Tiger Tail. Just the shape of it out in the Gulf, it just catches everything out there. Oh, speak of the devil, there's Scott up here. His ears must have been burning. No Linda. Linda's busy having her garage sales. Were your ears burning? What's up, my brother? No, why? I was just saying, I don't know where Scott and Linda are. <laughs> I know where Linda's probably at still. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Linda, wake up. No, nice no comments now, here. Yeah. Sandy's here. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> she found a, I uh, saw a picture of a nice whelk she found last Did she? Night. Yeah. Oh, last night, where's she? I think, right up here somewhere. I wasn't here. She had it on Facebook. This yeah, I didn't. Outside. I didn't catch that. It's a pretty uh, good size. Well. I don't. I haven't found much of anything. Me neither. A little. I found a little moon. That's about it. A little shark eye out on the huh. sandbar out there. Yeah, not much around. But she was finding all kinds of shells last night. Yeah. Well, <gasps> she probably got them all. Exactly. Sandy's Damn fault. Sandy. Yep. <sighs> oh, Patty's here. Hi, Patty. <laughs> Sandy said. Sandy said hi. <laughs> you gonna see you? You gonna see you tonight? Yeah, I think we might have to stop by and you know. Come by or two. for the old fish fry at the North Naples Country Club. Yeah, I don't know about fish fry. I'm kind of, you know. What? Lose some of that extra muscle? Yeah, yeah, no muscle. Way. That's it. <laughs> muscle. Yeah. What? Yeah, something. We'll see. All, All right. right. I'll, so shoot we'll you. I'll shoot you there, a text but... later. Yeah, let me All right. you around. So did, is he getting rolled? Uh, she didn't enroll yet. Or, or... She, uh, we had to go through a, you know, a tour of the campus and whatnot so she could see. How did you like it? He loves it. Yeah. I love it. Are you kidding me? These kids got it made these yeah. days. Jeez. Florida Gulf Coast. Great, great campus. Beautiful campus. Yep. Really nice place. Yeah, because it's there. it's relatively new. You know, it's a new yeah, it's, it's very progressive yeah, out it's there. It's not too. even twenty years. Yeah. Uh, it's a great campus. And you get great division one football I think, in the next year or two. Yeah, that'll that's be awesome. awesome. Yeah, that's kinda cool. So but uh, we're looking forward to it. Why not? Well, hopefully she, uh, hopefully <laughs> she wants to get down here and Yeah. Uh, that'd be fun. So, yeah. Fun, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it, yeah, Dad. Fun, Dad. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> we'll go enjoy. There's some fishermen up around the corner. All right. not Roy said them. he saw a turtle crawl. Did you see one up there? It's not. It's not up there. It's up here. And there's one up there. Oh, maybe it is. Up there. I think it's. I didn't see any down. There's one that goes all the way up into the. Uh, it's got to be up here. It might be right up here. It goes all the way up into the picnic area. Oh wow! I mean, she crawled all the way up. Oh, wow! Landed in a hole on the way down. It might have been past it. Yeah. Right hand side right up there. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, she went all the way up by the picnic area. Well, it'd be nice if we get another new nest. What are we up to? 40? 47. 47 that I saw so far this morning. I just want to see him go screen around. I'd love to see one. Man, I would just love to catch one on the beach. That'd be so exciting. Someday I'll get out here. I'd love to see a hatching. That'd be like crazy. You see those little things popping out of the nest. Yeah, you never know. Oh yeah, there's. They're doing looks, something with that uh, with the dredge thing around the corner too. To well, I think it, they're done with this dredging. I think. I Roy said they're done. So if Roy says well, they're done, they must be done. Yeah, if Roy said they're done, they're done. <laughs> oh yeah, there's right, right, right. Yeah, there's she, the crawl. Yeah, she crawled up was way over on this side. She went up wow. and around this hole that somebody left. She kind of pucked around here. Yeah. Then she went around the back side of this hole and went up and she's way back in the dunes and they came straight down. You know what? That is amazing that she didn't fall in that yeah, hole there. She went right around it. She crawled. You can see her tracks. They're not very deep. You can see, see she came up, she spun came around. Up yep, she crawled all the way back up behind this stupid hole that somebody left. Please don't do that. Fill in all your holes. You can see how that's a major obstacle for our sea turtles. She came up. Wow, she came all the way up. This is amazing. I don't want to mess up the tracks so the rangers can see them. 
but she crawled up these dunes, up this dune. Look at this. This is amazing. Absolutely incredible. She crawled all the way up here, up by the picnic tables. Huh. And this is where she might have made her nest. The eggs might be over in here somewhere. Wow, so the rangers will check that out. But look how, that was quite a crawl. Holy smokes. It's amazing how they can come up those dunes like that. That is wild. No. Roy came and checked her out. Yeah, Roy. Yeah, you see Roy's <laughs> crutches through the tracks. Wow, that is amazing. Wow. Now there goes the low network connection. Look at that. That is incredible. But what's amazing is how, look at how she climbed up this dune. That's pretty high. That is a good crawl. Thankfully, she didn't fall in that hole. Yeah. Isn't that cool? And up over by the picnic table is where she might have nested. Over in there. Very, very neat. So maybe 48 nests. That'd be great. All right, Scott. All right, I'll catch you later. All right. Have you met? You haven't met the Pfeifers yet. Not yet. Okay. Hopefully they'll be down. They're yeah, they're down in area two. Are they? Or they said the fishing stinks, so they're just gonna go <laughs> swimming down there. You guys aren't catching. <laughs> I saw a guy catching pretty decent sized mullet. But yeah. That. That's it, mullet. All right, have a good one. I'll see you later. Yep. Ooh, here's a nice little fighting conch. It's a nice looking shell right there. Nice looking fighting conch. That's a great looking conch shell. Beautiful morning. Well, there's two of the new markers. You can, two new channel markers. I don't think they, they haven't cut them off yet. Wait, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see them. And see those little sticks sticking up there? See, they're gonna be markers or signs. That's a look up. That's actually Fort Myers Beach up there in the distance. Bonita Beach. It's a long ways away. Gorgeous out here. Well, let's go back and see if Roy grabbed his book. I was gonna have him read one chapter to us. Give you a taste of a little sampling of what's in there. Well, maybe, maybe we have 48 sea turtle nests. That'll be great. Had this crawl right here. And it's just amazing how that turtle crawled up that dune. Isn't that something? That is really cool. I'm trying to block the sun with my hand. This crawl went all the way up there. Amazing. One determined lady, that sea turtle. Unfortunately, she didn't 
fall into this hole that some jackass left. You can see she crawled up here, went around up next to the dune, behind that hole, fortunately. Went up there. Wow. They are determined, those sea turtles. Beautiful colors, the blue sky. Here comes our park rangers. Scott didn't have any luck shelling either this morning. I found a couple, a couple little shells, a little moon shell, a nice little scallop. I'm gonna head over here and have a little chit chat with Roy. There's our rangers. You got you got one up there. You got one crawl. What's that? You got one crawl. Okay. Uh, you, you, it's like in the area that's kind of washed out. Okay. Just a little, just north of where that tree's sticking okay, out. Okay, great. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Thank, cool. you. Thank you. All have right. A have day. a good one. Excuse me. So if you haven't heard, Roy wrote a little book. It's got his little tips on how to live to be almost a hundred. <laughs> it's a lot of the things we talked about at the beach. You can order that through Amazon. I'll show you the title here. I told him to pick out one of the topics and read it to us, one of the little chapters there. Give everybody a taste of what's in there. So. What'd I do? Are you Scott? Yeah. Scott and Linda, right? Yeah. So it must be Mark and Karen. Tom. Tom and Tom Karen. And Karen. Yeah. Who is Mark? I don't know. Marcus is Marcus oh. and Andrea from Germany. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Tom, so Tom is the one who cooked up all those, uh, those On yummy... On the 4th of July? Yeah. 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 That's right. Say, uh, on, the, um, on the 29th of this month, which is a Sunday, I'm having a birthday party for Jenny up by the big pine tree. That's gonna, sweet. How old and, she gonna and be? Tom, Tom's gonna be. Oh, I don't know. Ladies <laughs> never tell her age. Tom, Tom's gonna cook up a big bar, chicken barbecue like he did for oh, Fourth really? of July for Jennifer's so birthday. Join, join us in Sunday it'll, the 29th. Yeah. There you go. It'll be a lot of fun. 
So uh, come join us, everybody come join right, us. Uh, right here at Area 4. Yeah, the old pine tree. So what you, did you pick a chapter here? And Well, I'm looking for it. Anger, emotions, oh, there's a lot of chapters here. Heaven or hell? Yeah, you got a lot of stuff free choice. There. We'll pick um, one and let's hear it. Uh, should we read about heaven or hell? Heaven or hell? Well. Or how about No Mistake Day, if I can find it? A good laugh, nothing like a good laugh. Well, whichever. Did you, did you read this this one about the, oh my. Let me how see I've I can... lived hap, healthy and happy. Here. To be almost I've sure gotten old. I've had two bypass surgeries, a hip replacement, new knees, fought prostate cancer, and diabetes. I'm half blind, can't hear anything quieter than a jet engine, take 40 different medicines that make me dizzy, winded, and subject to blackouts, have bouts with dementia, have poor circulation, hardly feel my hands and feet anymore. <laughs> Can't remember if I'm 85 or 92. Have lost all my friends, but thank God I still have my Florida driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Isn't that a good one? That is so true. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm is sure the that driver's truth. license people will love reading oh, that. Oh, yeah. That's the truth, though. <laughs> You can Subject keep that to black you die. Out. <laughs> can't see, can't hear. <laughs> that is the sad that's truth. A, that's a good one. <laughs> yep. I think that's the word of the day. <laughs> that is too funny. Oh my, my goodness. <laughs> anyway. Oh. You heard about the guy who was sitting at the bar and just about to have a drink. Oh, tell us about it. It's him. in here, too. There I was sitting at the bar staring at my drink when a large, troublemaking biker steps up next to me, grabs my drink, and gulps it down in one swig. Well, what you gonna do about it, he says menacingly as I burst into tears. Come on, man, says a biker. I didn't think you'd cry. I can't stand seeing my cry. This is the worst day of my life, I say. I'm a complete failure. I was late to a meeting and my boss fired me. When I went to the parking lot, I found my car had been stolen and I don't have any insurance. I left my wallet in the cab I took home. I followed my wife with another man and then my dog bit me. So I came to this bar to work up the courage to put an end to it all. I buy a drink. I drop a capsule in and sit here watching the poison dissolve. Then you show up and drink the whole thing. But enough about me. How's your day going? <laughs> good one. Anyway, uh, there's, there's good ones in here. And that was in the book. Look, these yeah, are all little book, little too. tidbits that are in the book. Yeah, there's all kinds of things. You can order it on Amazon. <laughs> well, it's been I'd, like, I'd like you to read just one of those one of those sections on oh how about here, let's open up the table of contents. Oh, well, we got a big table of contents. Yeah, let's go to the table of contents. Oh my goodness. And accidents, no mistake day. Exercise, health, anger, emotions, conduct. I, I want it. Let's hear about love. Well, love let's hear what good. you wrote about love. I don't think it's very long, but it's, That's it's okay. short and sweet. Let's hear about your thoughts on love. Well, love is wonderful. Love, love, laughter, lightheartedness. Wow, oh, what a wonderful t world. When you love someone and it's returned, it's the most exuberant, mysterious feeling in the world. A closeness, a companionship, and friendship, a passion, a fulfillment like nothing in the world. So let's fall head over heels in love and enjoy the raptures thereof. That's short and sweet. It's short and sweet. Very poignant. That is a good one. Yep, love is glorious. <laughs> wow. Well, that's got, I know everybody, everybody's, so far I've heard all good comments, good reactions. They like what they've got. They're happy with what you wrote. Well, I'm happy about that. Hopefully. It's been a, it's been a fun endeavor. I've met a lot of interesting people and 
the whole thing's been interesting. I never published anything before, and it's it's uh, quite a good time. Then getting it on Amazon, Dave Henry did that for me. Mm -hmm. and, oh, we're working on an audio book now. Oh, yeah? That's the next thing in line. Mm -hmm. And we did get this copyrighted, so that's nice. And uh, now we're working on an audio book. Well, there you go. Audio books are good. In fact, I've been listening myself to some audio books. So whose idea was that, to do an audio book? Oh, I don't know. Probably Dave's. He's got all kinds of good ideas. He's hmm. going to write I thought a... I suggested that a month ago. You did. You did. You're <laughs> the one. You're the one. Yeah, that's... Well, that's why you asked. <laughs> yeah, you did way back when. Well, we're going to work on that. Well, that shouldn't take the very audio long. Audio books are good. I've been... I've, I've got some at home, and I've been listening to them. In fact, there's one all about jokes. Oh, I love, never laughed so hard in my life listening to those goofy jokes. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's a it's a good time. Well, that's great. Yeah, audio books are nice. You can you can look out at the sea and the sky and and uh, enjoy some a uh, good guy yep. reading to you, and your eyes don't get tired. But it'll be nice having the author. You'll have the author reading it to you. Well, you don't I'll give that a that. whirl. I don't articulate quite as clearly as well, I used to. You can to, edit it. It's I'll not a big deal it. to edit it. I'll work Audio on it. Audio editing's, I mean, for that, it's rather simple. I'll have to watch my articulation. Yep, just read it slow. You'll do a good job. <laughs> that'll be great. Well, that'll be a, one more interesting, fun thing. Yep. And right from the horse's mouth. People will enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give that a whirl. In fact, I was just about to call old Dave and see how he's doing. He's a pretty man. He, a busy man. He's a professor of uh, mathematics. Oh, yeah? And during the summertime, he tutors students, so... Oh, there you go. Keeps quite busy. Great. And he's very conversant with the goofy computer, so he's able to get these things accomplished. Oh, that's awesome. All right, well, you have a great Friday. What are you going to do this weekend? Anything special? Oh, yeah, everything's special. Everything? Oh, I'm coming down here and talking to you and having a <laughs> glorious time. Well, there you go. <laughs> I see the rangers are up there checking out that sea turtle crawl. Wasn't that an interesting that crawl? Is, boy, she right went up way that up there. Causeway and right she went up, right around that big hole. Yeah, well, there's a big some, hole. That I don't somebody know left there. That was... Like, people are so yeah, dumb leaving they, those they big holes. They crawled around that, but then they went up that... Way up there. Uh, yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. They're like big bulldozers. Just well, I've seen where they've gone up that steep uh, cliff-like. Right. It's almost vertical, and they get up there. Yeah, it's amazing how, away. how far they can get up there. Oh, they're strong. And another thing is amazing how deep. I didn't know their flukes stuck out that far, but they dig those they holes can get down pretty deep, two yeah. feet deep. Yep. Sometimes they go pretty deep. The ranger said only about 1% of the eggs make it to maturity. Yeah, it's not many. They were, they lay about 80 to 100 eggs, so he figure there's one out of the nest that maybe makes maybe. it. Maybe. Yeah. Well, bad. we have better odds than that. <laughs> and then some of us make it to 100. Yeah, well, that's a... Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, I hear people are working on that. Well, when you make it to 100, there's going to be one big party here at the beach. Ha, 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 ha. You might you might not know what's going be know what's going on, but we'll Boy, have that, a party. Right? That will be a truckload of candles. There will for be the a cake. truckload of candles. That's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> I think they'll have to widen out the gate somehow or other get <laughs> to get in. that cake and candles in. Yeah, they might bring it in by barge. Hey, there's an idea. <laughs> a barge. I hadn't thought of that. We can get it here. Not we'll those get barges it barges. They can carry just so much, though. I mean, otherwise they're subject to. <laughs> I don't want my cake to just sink in the ocean. Well, you can the captain the, the tugboat pulling the barge. There you go. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Maybe I get a fee that'd be enough to pay for the cake. Yeah. That'd be nice. Here, say hi to a couple of our friends that are watching here this morning. See if he can, see if they can see you there. Oh, hi, everybody. God bless you, Roy. Such a wonderful, oh, gosh, thanks, Linda. What a sweet thing to say. Huh. Oh, Hope you're on tomorrow, Rob, <laughs> Linda says. <laughs> well, that's nice. Oh, and there's a heart by George. Oh, yeah, they send lots of hearts. Well, I'm a lucky guy. You are. 
<laughs> there should be a bunch of hearts coming across. Yeah, there. there's a lot of hearts. That's all that love. Well, isn't that sweet? Ah, Patty Knight. Love you, Roy. Hi, Patty. Yeah, thanks, Patty. Nice hearing from you. Ah, Lenore says, hello. Hi, Lenore. And Pat Grover. Hi, Roy. Hi, Pat. Gail, good morning. Hi, Gail. Good morning. Linda. Hi, Roy. Miss you. Well, miss you too, Linda. Jay, nice day. Cindy, morning from New Jersey. Chimo. Well, keep, whoops, it's gone. Gail, love your book. Well, thanks. Appreciate that. Kelly says, love you. Love you, Kelly. Judy, good morning, Judy. Kim Hunt, good morning, Kim. Hey, says, good hi to you, too. Lenora, oh, she says, I'm wonderful. Aren't you sweet, Lenora? My gosh, Kathy, good morning, Roy. Thank you for the smiles. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, it's a delight to smile when talking to such a uh, delightful uh, ladies here. And that's yeah. something. Man. Yeah. All these, all these friends out here watching us. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's amazing how small the world is with Facebook, isn't it? It's a yeah. small world. Yeah, it really is. All right, Roy. Well, you're bringing it together, Rob. You're doing a really great job. Well, you have, wanna, a, you have a great day. Like I told you, a lot, a lot of those letters that they sent me with the money for my book, they mentioned to say... Hi to you, and, well, and what, a, what a nice thing you're doing with your Facebook Well, thing. I hope they enjoy it. Yeah. You're the star of the show. I'm not <laughs> Yeah, you are. <laughs> no, I'm not. All right. You're I gotta, the one who's taking I got to get moving here. Okay. But I will see you later. How's Have a great afternoon. How's everything going for you? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, I missed you yesterday. You must yeah. have been busy. Yeah, yet. I can't make it out here every day. Oh, somebody left trash there. That's too bad. Ugh. Stepped on trash. Scott, I think, dropped that off here. He picked it up on the beach. Oh, that could be, yeah. Oh, all right, Roy. You have a good one. Tally ho. Good show. Tally ho. Tally ho. <laughs> God bless. God bless you. Yeah, I see our park rangers are up, up a ways here. If you look up there, you can see them out on the beach. We had a sea turtle crawled up way up there. She crawled way up under the dunes, up where the ranger is there on the left. It was a pretty impressive call. You can crawl. You can check that out later in the replay of the video. Who knows? Maybe that'll be nest number 48, keeping our fingers crossed. I see Scott made it out to the sandbar there by the barge. That little blue dot. Our friend Scott. I don't know. Maybe I left him something out there. You can see him out there on that new little sandbar. So he's here, Linda, there's proof. Boy, it is really warming up here now. Amazing. I don't know what the temperature is. Boy, another big slipper shell. I found a couple nice big slipper shells this morning. Here's another nice big slipper shell. Yeah, it looks like a little shoe when you turn it over. A little slipper. The slipper shell. That's a nice size one. My nicest find of the day what is this little moon shell one of my favorite shells the moon shells this little shark guy i found this morning actually found it out on that sandbar where scott's walking the shark eye it's a little 
snowy egret doing some fishing here. I'm going to see if I can zoom in. Maybe we'll see him catching a fish. See if it will focus. Come on, focus. Hmm. Try again. Try again. Let's see if it catches something. They're very determined and patient. Looks like it's taking a drink. We're not going to catch anything. I got to get moving. Scott still out there on the sandbar. Gorgeous. There's clouds out there. Isn't that beautiful? As we look up the beach. Another beautiful day in paradise. Love it here. The water is definitely starting to clear up now that that dredging has stopped. See the bottom there, see the reflections? Much nicer. Every day it's getting a little better. Cockle shell. Wow. The beginning, that looks like the, the beginnings of a worm rock. That is interesting. Look at that. Or is that a worm shell? Is that two worm shells twisted together? That is pretty interesting looking. Wow. Very cool. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? Great. There's a little kitten paw. Little kitten paw. The whole shell. Both sides of the kitten paw. That's cool, the kitten's paw. I thought that was an olive shell. It's just a pebble shaped like an olive shell. So 
so peaceful out here. and walk along and let you enjoy the sounds of the, the waves. It's a nice little compressed view, a zoomed in view looking north. I don't know if you can see Roy there in his chair. an osprey falling out up in the trees here. Can't see it though. It sounds like it's up in this tree to the left of me here. Hard to see with that sun. Look at that beautiful blue sky. Isn't that not gorgeous? It's low tide now. See the sand, the waves breaking on the sandbar out there. Can't quite see it, it's not a super low tide. A lot of times the sandbars get exposed out here. But you can see the waves breaking on it out there. That's beautiful, beautiful colors with those clouds.
These are the shadows from the trees there. That's why the water is dark. That one little snowy egret in the front just caught a little fish, just swallowed it. Paradise. Gotta love it. It's a great look up the beach there. Right now we're in between areas three and four. Five areas, five parking lots at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. Number one being the closest to the front entrance. Number five being all the way at the north end of the park by Wiggins Pass. That's where you want to park if you want to do some fishing. Fishing only up at the north end. No swimming. No fishing in areas one, two, three, and four. Swimming only. Well, that was another great morning. Nice long walk. We almost walked the entire beach. We didn't go all the way up to Wiggins Pass this morning. We got close. One sea turtle crawl. I don't know if it was a successful crawl or not. So there, there could be 48 nests on the beach now. I didn't see any signs of any hatchings. The little snowy egrets out here this morning fishing for their breakfast. And one just flew by with a fish in his mouth. <laughs> See somebody up here with their dog in the water. As much as I love dogs, you're not supposed to have them out here on the beach. See a bunch of snorkelers out in the water. Could that be the Pfeifers? I see four heads sticking up out of the water.
I want to take a picture here, bear with me. I think that's the Pfeiffer's out there in the water, possibly. Maybe not. Gonna find out. morning. That's interesting. They got little trowels that they're kind of dragging along the bottom, looking for shells. Find anything good? There's nothing here but sand. Nothing. We were hoping to try a different beach, terrible. And I'd heard. There's supposed to be a reef out here. On the yeah, it's further out. It's we a, walked out to um, the, it's a, the, it's the out. buoys and it's just nothing but sand. It's a, I can understand why this is a good It's. I think it's out a little past the buoy. Okay. The reef, yeah. I haven't been, I haven't seen it for a couple of years. So uh -huh. Who knows what kind of shape it's in. But yeah, there's not, I mean, uh, but Julia found uh, four small little sand dollars this morning already. Really? Yeah. Little bait, live ones? Yeah. No. Oh, well, that's good. At least yeah. we can keep them. <laughs> uh, but there's no, I mean, there's the shell, there's nothing here. But down, uh, we were snorkeling in the swimming area. Uh -huh. You know, down from uh, uh, where we can fish. Right. And God, we were seeing snook like this. Uh, all kinds of. It's not uh, snook season though, is it? Yeah. No, no. no. Uh, but all kinds of uh, sheephead. You know, of course, it's in the non-fishing area. <laughs> I wonder if anybody knows who I'm talking to here. This fisherman, Mike, oh, yeah. everybody. Yeah. He looks a little different. That's the wet I don't look. Have a fishing pole yeah, no hand. fishing pole. No hat on. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. And I'm swimming with my neighbors and uh, Julius yeah. Pfeiffer. Did you guys catch any? Nothing yesterday? No. Nothing. No. Oh, I, we, uh, I, mean, I saw you call it a mackerel. Yeah, we, we caught a mackerel, a, a ladyfish, uh, a whiting, you know, but nothing. I, I have yet to catch, catch a keeper fish here for hmm. a while. I mean, everything has changed. Since that dredging, huh? Yeah. Look who's, uh, look who's coming up the beach. Yeah. Oh, boy. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Good morning. I'm Marcus. How are you? How are you? I'm good. <laughs> a handshake. <laughs> yeah, I'll take nice. a handshake. <laughs> Morning, my dear. How are you? Great. Where's your new tattoo? Over here. Oh wow, that's a beauty. Yeah, that's the old one, and that all. Wow. Is new. Wow, nice. Yeah. So you still can't go in the water? No, I should wait another week. So it's only two weeks old. Oh, okay. Uh, so you got it just before you came here. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So what's new? Anything exciting? No. Huh? Yeah, except being here. Yeah. yeah. Being here. What do you think of the beach? It's a lot different, huh? Yes. It, it looks like a whole different place. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But it's still nice. Yeah. It is. You know, you have to. It is what you make it. Right. You know. Right. It's beautiful. It's always beautiful, no matter what. So what do you think of Roy? You notice any changes in Roy? Uh, yeah, he maybe. He's a little bit older. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. Seems like he, he's starting to slow down he, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, he doesn't look older, but, but yeah. I think his, his yeah. brain, he you doesn't can, remember people. I know. He had he had a hard time remembering our friend Scott up there this morning. He was oh, really? Confused. Yeah. Okay. But 
Hey. Two I hope days. I make it to 94. 90, exactly. <laughs> exactly, exactly, that's what it is. Uh, but two days ago, he was a little bit confused, but yesterday, he was top. He remembered you? He remembered, yeah. yeah. Did Even you get your book? I was talking to him. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a little bit confusing. A challenge. But yeah. I don't think I made it confused. Yeah. You confused him. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I confused everything with the book. <laughs> but finally yeah. we got it. And oh, we got another great. one for, for a friend of mine in Germany. Oh, sweet. We saw him on Facebook yeah. and he oh, wanted to become him. a fan. Yeah. yeah. So did he write something? Did yes, he try to course, write yes, something in course. German? Yeah. In no, Ger no, no. Oh. In English. He, he said, likes he likes speaking English. Oh, okay. He said Astrid showed him how to do something yeah. in German. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he did it right or not, but yeah. but he was he wrote a dedication for us, Andrea Marcus and Julius. Yeah, this was funny. So at first he forgot to put Julius in, even if she wrote it down for him. And when he did the dedication, he was asking if we have kids. Uh, so yeah, gotta love them. You know, exactly. like I said, I'll be happy if I get that old. Exactly. That's, that's it. <laughs> So how, how are you doing? Good, good, good. I mean, it's the same old thing. Business is up and down all the time. But, oh, that was fun. I saw we, the pictures yeah. from Virginia, and it, 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 yeah. I liked it. Yeah, it was beautiful. We took yeah. our time went and just, yeah. when we could. Yeah. It was your, more... Your new Uber car. <laughs> the Uber car, you like that? Yeah, that was right, horse funny. and buggy? That was, no, that... that, that um, Oh, the, the horse. yeah, that old know. cutlass. It was yeah, an old exactly. cutlass. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was funny. <laughs> the picture with the horse. The yeah. horse. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Julius. Hi. That was that was pretty nice. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, we yeah. have a little surprise for you. A yeah. surprise. Yeah. yeah. Report something. Look at that. There's a sea monster out there. The whole exactly. Way from <laughs> Fisherman Mike. Wow. That's, I like surprises. Yes. So, how, are you here for two weeks? Three. Three oh, weeks. Almost oh, three. okay, that's great. We have to leave on the 28th. Ah. Have you found any nice shells? No, not yet. No. We found some, uh, sand dollar. some little sand dollars. So yeah, Julius size, found yeah. some. Yeah. Mike was telling me. It's The beach has changed so much. I yes. mean, you never know where the shells are going to be anymore, I where the remember, fish are going to be. Yeah, I remember when we were here the first time, I think it was in 2014 or 15. Yeah, we 14. were at area 5 and the beach was big. You know, oh, yeah, big. yeah, yeah. And it was huge. And I still have the pictures and now it's so small. Now, yep. But for us, it changes dramatically oh, year by year. Oh, right, being gone. Oh, the there's weeks. dolphins. I just saw them come up. Oh, yeah. Straight out. They're coming this way. See them? Yep. Yeah. Two or three of them. They're way out there. Way out. Well, that's good luck. You know, that's good luck if you see them. Especially today, Friday the 13th. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lucky day anyway. So. Yeah. Right. They just popped up out there. A couple of them. Maybe they'll come in and see Mike and the boys. Huh. Over here now. Well, we did see them, that's for sure. What happened? I didn't, <laughs> I've never seen them stay under that long. They did. I, Oh, something blew bubbles right here in front of us. They did it like my wife in the uh, mall. Uh, they disappeared. <laughs> oh, there, oh, of course, they're way, way out there now. Uh, oh, well. If you stay here, though, for a while, they usually come back. Yeah. You usually get to see them. No, no it's, bugs up here. Yeah, a lot of. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, not a lot. <laughs> yeah, they're usually bad by no, the trees. No. It's nothing big. So, let's see. Yeah, but what we want? Oh, we're pretty sure that oh. you like it. Oh, we brought it from Germany. A nice, it's a German wine. Nice bottle of Riesling. Yes. 
We've you know what Roy calls we... this? Oh. You know what Roy calls it? No. no. Poison. Uh, poison. Yeah, anything with alcohol, yeah, Roy I, I calls I poison. Call so, like Roy, I'm sorry. <laughs> We've heard the Americans like whistling. It is. Yeah, is we it, do. Is it yes. Why? Because yes. we bought it last year and this no, year. No, this is and great. You, you don't like it. No, this is great. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I think you get, you gave me a bottle yep. last year. Yeah, it was yep. great. Absolutely. Okay. Still, a little envelope. Oh, thank you so to much. Keep up your good work. Oh, you guys are so kind. So kind. Yes, we are. Yes. Uh, what a beautiful, what a beautiful couple, <laughs> Marcus and Andrea, and Julius. But he's happier out there in the water with yeah. his snorkel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Well, Do thank you, you know, huh? Is, You're very welcome. Yes. Is he a reef? Mike was looking for a reef. It's out further than those markers. But here in the area too. It's yeah. This. Right out here is where it's the closest, I believe. I haven't been out there for years now. Okay. So I don't know what kind of condition it's in, but it's further out than those markers. Okay. okay. And it's, I mean, you could snorkel and go down and come up and go yeah. down and come up. It's yeah. it's not real, it's a little deep, you know, it's it's not but, real but shallow. But you can't stand no, so, no. so far. Yeah. Because so, people go out, they'll take tanks, you know, put the scuba oh, on okay. and go okay. swim around it. Well, there's two different types of reefs. There's one, they call it a hard bottom reef, and the other one's a, a coral. I don't know it's if it's coral or man-made. The reef is there's, outside. There's two different types of reefs here, Mike. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, one they, one they call a hard bottom, which I don't know what that means. Well, and we have that right, right over uh, in uh, area five, you know, uh, it's still in area five, just past the uh, fishing pole. Uh huh. It's where the uh, shore used to be. It's all roots. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. And the shells in there are like that big, the really big, thick ones, and just piled up. Oh wow. Yeah. It, it, we got some shells, and I mean, it feels like bucket, those but big it's, clam shells. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Wow. But the fish are in there. Uh, that's what we're looking. We were walking out there looking for hard bottom, and it's nothing but sand. Yeah. yeah. As far as you, I mean, sand. It's a, I think you have to go a little further out. I mean, yeah. I, we took the GoPro out well, there. Well, the one thing time. is, I wouldn't want to take the kids past that. No. Exactly. No. You know, yeah. because yeah. boats. It's, it's definitely past the, yeah. the boat. marker. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And if the kids can't stand. No, they can't stand up out there. But not only that, but the boats can come in there. So yeah. that too. Because yeah. you know. they, when they go out there, they'll usually have a scuba Spl tank and they'll have a flag, flag. Yeah, yeah. out there. Yep. Yep. But no, it, we have, so we this is my boat. first though, Rob. Huh? First time on Area Two. Really? Never been down here. Not even to visit anybody or anything. Never been down here. I, I why? I, yeah, there's, I can't yeah. fish here, so right. <laughs> You're out of your element down here. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even bring fishing poles today. Really? Left them at home. Now you're not fisherman Mike anymore. No, you're fisherman diver, I'm, Mike. Yep. I'm surprised your your car let you down here oh, without I, fishing I, poles. I, I hear you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well. Wow. So you gonna you gonna be out here every day or? Uh, well, well, probably probably not every day, but yeah. pretty much. Yeah. I guess. Right. Yeah. We want to go to the Keys. Again. Yeah, yeah that'll be fun. Last, yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. yeah well, and we, we, to wanted, we wanted to go to um, Anna Maria, but we heard there was the wet tide. Oh, yeah. Yep. It was bad up there. So we have from to Venice. Go south to yeah. North. It's only the, you know, Venice. We wanted to go to Venice looking for. Oh, really? Up. Teeth. For uh, shark's teeth and red tides there. Red tide? Not the junk from the. No, Lake no, o. it's red tide. They're saying the fish kill and stuff, so. This Lake O stuff is getting terrible. Oh, that's a green stuff. Yeah. yeah, and that's poison. I mean, yeah. that kills everything. Yeah. I've seen a post this morning yeah, where somebody uh, took photos of two ducks. Yeah, or yeah, I At shared that on. Playing, yeah. And then yeah, and then they, they saw them die. Yeah. yeah, it's sad. And they're really, they're doing it again today. They're yeah. letting that water out today. Okay. So, really? so no, not okay, but and they don't like, care. Well, the the darn lake will overflow. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. So it's like, what do you do? It's but like, why, why do they have to let it out from Lake O? Because it'll it'll overflow. And it'll, flood out. Lake O will and, overflow. And flood okay. the whole community. Oh, okay. So it's like, what do you do? Flood the community? Poison the water? I don't know. 
I think what they should do is just put drop some dynamite in it and make it deeper. Make it deeper. <laughs> <laughs> or dig another lake between here and. I mean, it's it's a horrible situation. Yeah. And I mean, it's all because of the fertilizers, you right. know, that they use on the Farming fields, and, yeah. and it trickles down into the water. Yeah. And it, it, I mean, they've got you know videos sad of some sea turtles. You know, they're carrying dead sea turtles out of the water. Manatees. There's a lot. Dolphins. Of, a lot of nests here too. I mean it. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah, it is. That's why I posted, when I posted it yesterday, I tagged the governor in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just hopefully other people will get the same idea and just keep throwing it in his face. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's working on it, but there's no fast solution no, is no. the problem. No fast solution. True. It's sad. True. Very sad. Anyway, I am running late, but thank you so well, much for the gift. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. And welcome. And thanks and for I, stopping by. And I will, and I will see you again. Yeah. Yes, of okay. course. Good luck, Diver Mike. All right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, a You're new not venture fisherman for Mike. Me. Yep, yep, Diver Mike. <laughs> I, it's only, I have, I, a, a year ago was the first time I ever swam in the Gulf. Really? Yeah. And when they brought their, they brought one of the snorkels, they in, introduced yeah. me to the snorkel, the Easy Breed. Show us that thing. That's pretty neat. Those are really neat. Yeah. Yeah, do some commercial. Yeah, there Easy you go. Breathe. Oh, oh, they're they're the best. I mean, so it's all one piece. And one you just, piece you can breathe through your, your mouth. Face, you can so breathe like, through your nose. Uh, it's like you have a windshield on, and you've yep. got a you got a mount for what, a GoPro for, a GoPro. for an yep. underwater camera yep. there. Yep. So yeah, that. I mean, that is pretty cool. Uh, and it's amazing. Like right here, the water's clear. It's like looking right now. Yeah, well, it, well it, next it, time you, when you're gonna do that again, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna throw my camera on my pocket. Well, yeah, do you have well, one? he he had a GoPro yesterday, but I thought it yellow meant recording, uh, and it wasn't. <laughs> so I'm getting right up on the sheep head, and <laughs> and then as I'm walking back, that I thought it was shut off. I'm walking like oh, this. Oh yeah. And it's <laughs> oh, you know what? I've done that. I'm a supposedly <laughs> professional. I've done the same thing. We all do that. Uh, I did. Yeah, yes. I thought there was this huge alligator. The thing was like 14 feet long out in front of me on the road, way uh, out in East Naples. So I took my phone, I thought I was recording. The thing just got up and looked at me as I pulled, got closer in the car. I'm like, heck. Yeah. And then it, it runs off and then I hit stop and it, I see it starts recording. recording. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> ah. Yeah. Bummer. All right, guys, All right. thanks. Well, have a good one, hey. Bye -bye. See you later. Bye -bye. Yep, thank you. Oh, that's fun. The Pfeiffers all the way from Germany for three weeks. We see them every year. Gorgeous morning here. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that sky. I'm getting close to where I started from, down here in area one. I'm gonna give you one last look around here. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. When you find something you like, be sure to hit the like and share button. Absolutely beautiful out here. Look at this water. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Water is really clearing, clearing up nicely here. Since that dredging's come to an end, lots of little fish swimming around under my feet here, all around my feet. Beautiful. Well, again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Friday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.